I want to pick your brain. It's a, it's a bunch of things going on in pop. It's a lot going right on, bro. And you you are not. Oh my god, you you're not a dude to mince words. <laughs> you, you know something? I'm, I'm gonna start off because I just saw I just saw you had Joe Smith is going through it right now. Former NBA baller, um, number one yeah. draft pick. He going through That's it. That's not right Joe now. Smith. <laughs> His wife created a oh. He, <laughs> But but you had his wife on your podcast. First and foremost, how did that happen? And secondly, I, I need to get your thoughts on that whole situation. Oh man. All right. Well, um, I saw her on my one of my one of my partners' podcasts, and I was like, yo, they're in Atlanta. So I immediately called my partner, like, yo, how the heck did you? You know, I had to ask the same question, like, how did you get on her? He's like, Oh, I've known her for years. She lives up the street. And then I get to call, I get to talking to her, and she was like, Oh yeah, my daughter loves your show. She's always posting your content. I was like, "Oh, your daughter's seen my show, and you, you're not scared <laughs> to come on." <laughs> and so uh, it, it, it was kind of it was kind of dope. They were actually, you know, they actually live in the Atlanta area, and uh, you know, I we just you know I reached out to her. She came through, and uh, I told her, I said, I purposely told her, I said, I promise you, you will have a safe place to tell your story. And uh, the whole time I was interviewing her, uh, the chat guys were just calling for blood. They was like, push the button on Anichi, push the button on her. Uh, uh, like, There's a difference. This is an interview. That show is a debate show. You're talking about my debate show. Now, if she was to bring herself on my trigger alert debate show, I would push that button and drop a bomb in a second. But I said, this is an interview. I want to give this woman a chance and opportunity to... Uh, to you know, just express her opinion. No matter if I agree or disagree or how I feel personally, you know, I believe that an interviewer should, you know, try to be as impartial as, as possible. You know, that's just real journalism. So I did my research. You know, I tried to ask the tough, hard questions because I definitely didn't hold my tongue when it came to the questions. You know, what I'm saying I asked the the crazy stuff, and uh, and she answered it. She answered it. You know, as as honest and transparent as she could. But um, man, shouts out to Joe, man. It's a that's a, okay. So, so I gotta ask you, what 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 is a question that you asked her that you were surprised that she answered? Can you turn a hoe to a housewife? Don't Act it up. Damn. Can you turn a hoe to a housewife? Okay. So, 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 what what, what was her response? To she that? deflected like hell. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta understand. Okay, like accountability is something that you know a lot of women is kind of kryptonite for certain women, and so. You know, they're not going to want to take any kind of accountability. So, you know, when I'm being petty or whatever, I'm going to purposely put some account. Like, here's some accountability for you. See what you do with it. And, of course, they're going to shun it away and things of that nature. So, you know, I asked her, you know, the whole be a housewife. And she gave an answer that didn't make any barely any sense. But, you know, <laughs> it was an answer. And, uh, you know, she deflected, you know, and she was like, well, it's not about being a hoe. And not, well, no, but ma'am, it, it's about being a hoe because that's exactly what I asked you about. But, uh. <laughs> Hey, this is your interview, and you can do it exactly how you want. But I definitely ask you: is a whole being a housewife, you know? And so, um, you know, I think about the whole situation. It's just like, yo, they they both got it. one. She was totally wrong for going public. Totally wrong. There is no, but there is that. no, there is no deflection from that. There is no excuse for publicly outing your personal business. The only reason that we can even talk about this right now is because these people publicly put it out there you know what i'm saying and i told her that i was like you know the public thing now is she wrong for going to get her bag i mean would i would i want my woman doing that of course not of course not oh i was about to be of course no, no, of what? course not i wouldn't want my woman having the only fans but this is the thing you kind of started something and now you got to finish it joe you knew what she was before you can easily go online and type in her porn name and see tons of videos. And when I say tons, I'm talking full blown out porn, bro. Every type of, all of it. You know what I'm saying? So you knew what you had, bro. And so it's just like, at the end of the day, if you know you got one of them, I don't want to call his wife what I want to call his wife, but if you know that you have a woman that is a sexual, worker a sex worker 
as soon as times get hard and as soon as she is not comfortable, she's going right back to sex work. That's what she knows. It's her, it's her, it's her trade. If you've been, ladies, if you've been dating a hustler all your life and he's been selling dope since the nineties and times get hard and that car washing, he open ain't car washing and, and the laundry man ain't laundry man. What do you think he's about to go do? You think he's about to go to Walmart? No, he's probably going to go get him a book. He's going to go get him a brick because he knows that's a quick way to make some quick cash because he's a master at it. So you kind of know what you're getting. Joe knew what he was getting, bro. You know what I'm saying? So in that case, you know, I feel that Joe owns himself a little accountability because of the fact of the matter is, bro, not only did you bring it in the house, it's not, it's no problem with having fun with it, but bro, you kept it. And then you put a ring on it. You married. And then you watched it. You put a and ring then you on that. Put it, put it in the house. And then you stayed with it for 14 years. Well, bro, you invited that type of energy. You, you invited that. That's what you wanted. You wanted a freak jet every night of the night. Okay, cool. Me personally, I would have had fun with her sit on her way every night. God damn it. But you wanted to move her in, put the ring on it. I don't know if he got a, the way she popping it, I don't think they got a prenup. So, who? Shouts out to Joe. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.